but for my YouTube family, your girl just came home from the hospital a couple of days ago. Age, it can hit you anywhere. It can hit you hard. It can scare the life out of you because it definitely scared me. Last night, so I went to the club. Put on a fresh white suit, and the minute goes in, no love. I'm really looking for somebody to talk to and show me some. Mommy, right, so. yes. skip Kaji songs. Perfect. So, as y'all hear, jo Joseph is with me. Um, go up. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so. I guess <coughs> no COVID, but we got some catching up to do. Um, first things first, I want to thank the Almighty. I gotta thank God for waking me up again this morning, waking up my family. And I'm trying my hardest to do October or Vlogtober, is what I really want to say. I'm gonna try my hardest. For those who know me personally, they understand what's going on. But for my YouTube family, your girl just came home from the hospital a couple of days ago. I had a stroke. As scary as that is, at 33, I had a stroke. Um, it's just been overwhelmed. It's been overwhelmed a lot. Like that's why my right eye is still a little swollen. Everything on my right eye, uh, everything right side was I'm surprised I'm able actually thank God I'm actually able to move and walk around on my own and and things of that nature but yeah let me move. hope y'all can hear me a lot better now um but yeah we I was in the hospital for two days two or three days um we're still I'm still recovering but I'm taking it slow um I'm with my mom at the moment until I get back on my feet. But yeah, I pretty much had a stroke. I just was depressed, um, dealing with a lot of stress, anxiety. Um, I'm just dealing with a lot and I was dealing with it on my own. This video might be short because I'm really not doing anything today. I just want to keep you guys updated. This is going to be a life update. Um, beginning of October for me. Um, I might be more enthusiastic and might have more to do for uh, December. Um, of, or I think it's more for, uh, I think it's one for December, like Vlogtober, I think it's Vlogcember, I don't know. But um, yeah, so pretty much, uh, it's pretty much doing too much. Um, I was, um, waiting on, from what I remember, I was waiting on my son to come home from school, off the school bus, and I didn't eat at all for like two or three days prior, and, um, I just kept pushing myself because this bus driver, or at least the school that he attends, if they don't see the parent outside, he's not getting off the school bus. They will take him right back to the school and you have to pick him up from the school. And I um, <laughs> I kept pushing myself because even though I asked staff members to get him for me because they we were in a hotel at the time and they were familiar with me and my son so they knew who he was and I even though I've asked them to pick him up for me I had to remember like he's not going to get there the bus driver is not going to let him get off um if they don't see me so um I had to push myself to the bus stop and next thing I know I hear Junior telling me okay mommy and then i wake up in the hospital on a stretcher um ended up going and i'm going to the hospital as far as i remember I don't remember how maybe the ambulance um it had to be because i was on the stretcher <laughs> but um yeah i was there for two days i had a tsa which is a small yeah. stroke or a mini stroke um 
Yucky. Everything on my right side was numb. My whole body was numb. I couldn't even hold this phone that I'm that I'm currently recording off of. Um, yeah, as you can see, like my eye, my right eye is still a little swollen. It was bad yesterday. It was worse yesterday. Um, but yeah, I um, I was there for two, two or three days. And my cholesterol was down. My blood pressure was real low. Um, yeah, it was it was horrible. Especially with the fact that my son couldn't stay with me. He had to be with my mom, of course. And it was it was depressing on top of trying to get my strength back up. You know, because I was worried about my son worried about like him missing out on school and things like that so um he's fine now he's right here <laughs> say hi hi <laughs> Jeez. i'm recording so he's fine he's right here as you can see um and <laughs> and um don't come for my baby okay <laughs> no don't come for my baby, okay? He needs a haircut. Yes. I already know he needs a haircut. But um, it's just, it was hard, you know, to be away from my baby. My daughter is already with <laughs> her father, and the separation has killed me. It's nothing legal or anything. It's just since I get back on my feet. Um, and, you know, it's just been hard. It's, it's been hard. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Thank you for everyone that showed me love on my TikTok. Who well, you don't follow me on my TikTok, it's Nini so crazy as well. Um, I showed an update video of pretty much my symptoms and everything that happened and how God has continued to bless me. Even though I turned my back on him numerous times, he's still been there beside me, behind me, in front of me, walking with me throughout it all he's still been there so I have to show gratitude I have to give grace he is a merciful God he is very merciful especially on my behalf and I have to thank him 10 times fold I have to be there and show up and show out because he has showed out for me he has been there for me even when no one else was and I just want to thank him for everything um I want to really thank God for everything. If it wasn't for him, God, ain't no, there's no telling where I will be right now. Especially with it just being me and my son. And he, my, I want to thank my son too. Because he was very strong for that situation that happened. He was very strong. As far as I know, as far as what I was told, he was very strong. He communicated with the EMTs and far as I what I was told you know I, I was in and out of everything I like I said one minute he was getting off the school bus the next minute I'm waking up at the emergency room so I really didn't get to see or remember what happened but I still want to thank God and I want to thank my son for sure because there's no telling what would actually happen um so I'm I'm better um, I'm not 100%, but I'm better. Um, I have to go to physical therapy. Um, they will be coming to my house um, and uh, help me get my strength up, help me uh, get situated in speech and therapy as far as physical, because I'm still somewhat weak on the right side. Um, you know it's it's slowly progressing but i'm getting better so um this will be unfortunately a short video due to me trying to get my strength back up and not doing too much i'm not going overboard with a lot of things that i used to do when my strength was 100 percent um but i do want to thank you guys for sticking it out with me i want to thank you for being there with me and not and no, I'm not a ghost or anything like that. I'm just giving you an update so you guys understand what was going on and keeping you posted. So I will see you guys in my next video. I apologize for it being short. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. And um, I'll talk to you guys 
probably tomorrow in my video um because i'm gonna try my hardest to do vlogtober i'm gonna push myself to do vlogtober um so yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video let everyone know that you know nini is so crazy it's still crazy but she's healing and she's recovering right now so i just want to keep you guys posted and don't be surprised anybody can have a stroke anybody no matter the age it can hit you anywhere it can hit you hard it can scare the life out of you because it definitely scared me um this is the second one i've had i've had one when i was pregnant with my daughter so it's very scary very scary um to be this young and to have one um my son is over here playing with the computer <laughs> but um i just want to keep you guys posted and let you know that life still does go on and i'm going to continue to push because god hasn't given up on me so i'm not giving up so i will talk to you guys in the next video i appreciate the love and prayers and I'll see you guys soon.